Hey, Dana. How are you doing? Better than Kate. I just can't believe she would even attempt suicide. Ah, uh, I think we shouldn't just blame somebody now. We are responsible. Well, that's kind of true. Victoria could be whatever she wants, but uh, all the other people who not stood about uh, uh, for her, yeah, we all responsible. She was depressed. No, 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 no. She was depressed. Would give uh, Kate uh, somehow. Yeah. I think we're all responsible for what happened. True. But you're the only one who went up to that roof with Kate. I was lucky. Why was she on the roof? Where was everybody? It sounds like a... I don't know. So why do you think she was on the roof in the first place? Maybe Kate was so ashamed she got wasted on that video. I don't blame her, but it was pretty gross. Come on, you really believe that Kate Marsh wanted to get drunk at a Vortex Club party? So what exactly are you saying, Max? Does this have something to do with why you got suspended yesterday? Tell me the truth. Um... It's complicated. I don't want to drag you into this, okay? Not yet, anyway. I'm getting scared now. But people here are still sneaking out tonight. What? Like, who? Victoria bounced out of here earlier, and now you, Sherlock? Not me. I need a break from today. Get some sleep too, Dana. I'll see you later. Oh, man. Dana looks guilty and relieved about Kate. I am wiped out, Max. We'll talk later. So in my second playthrough, I, I think I could call it Mean Max again? Because taking the other choice will actually mean I, I do blame her. <laughs> that is so damn cute how much Dana is into this Halloween party. Yeah, yeah. Ah, she was talking about a costume or so. Yeah, it could be just another Mean Max walkthrough. And I, I think it's pretty interesting because, well, um, if I blame her and in the second playthrough Kate will be, um, will be dead. And there's... Waiting for you, Kate. I'm not sure if there will be this two. <laughs> Waiting to meet in the afterlife. Just want you to know you and our thoughts, Stella. Okay. Another slate. Praying for a fast recovery, Kate. Yeah, come on. I'm, I, I could take a look at this. Okay, finally. We leave the girls' dormitories, guys. So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. In front of the main hall. Yeah, when I took the choice about... Um, she was depressed, so Kate was depressed, so everything is uh, kind of responsible. And I actually do believe this, because uh, I know that Kate, um, she had the toughest skin, but this this was really... What I'm doing to... Uh, the squirrel is just walking away. Can I take a photo of that? Ah. It's unlocked. I hope Sammy wasn't around. Okay, and why can I take a look at this here? Is there something I can... It was Samuel was really weird in the, in the episode 2. With his strange answers. Oh man, what do we find here now? Girl stuff on the ground? I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. So, who does? Okay. Uh, no. Chloe? I have something to show you, meet me in front of, get that ask, you know, Max. Okay, she's just reminding me. Warren. I need to rest my cape tonight, being suspended is a nice reward, I'll call you later, okay. What a hero cape, Jojo Max from Warren just had to remind you again how fucking awesome you were today with Kate on the roof. I will make you a superhero suit on the lab's 3D printer, cool? And you totally earned dinner on me. 
Along with our escape to a planet of apes. Call me. Okay. So what's the S? Private number. Keep your smart sh mouth shut about everything or I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. Oh, this is old. You pl have plenty of time to ponder what a fuck up loser you are. So the... What is this here? A box. Nothing here. Okay, how can I... You have to really take a look around and or else you're gonna... What's this here? Trawlers. Nuts and bolts. <laughs> like my grandpa's garage. Okay. Doesn't seem so that we can actually magazines. Who knew Samuel was so into runway fashion? Hollywood girls? Live your dreams? Uh-huh. What he's doing with a uh, fashion magazine. Man, I mean, he could... Uh, he could get himself the real thing? <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, I guess this time the episode um, Chaos Theory, the totem, could actually... Uh, it's always kind of fun, but this time it could mean really the fun. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Tabanka. I guess there's a way to uh, get a shot on that squirrel, but... Um, where's the squirrel now? Or maybe not, I already took a shot of that scribble. It's not that important. It's more like an achievement thing. Here's the bench where... Oh, where I should sit. I feel so... giddy, even after Kate almost jumped. Maybe it's the leftover adrenaline. But I feel kind of invincible now. Okay, we can stand up, I guess. Yeah, those situations are always when uh, Maxine is kind of e expressing herself, thoughts. Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history, big and small. Oh yeah, this reminds me of something that um, they kind of announced that in this episode. Oh. The most magical insects. Burn bright. Yeah. Fireflies. Yeah, they kind of announced that in this episode 3, Chaos Theory, that we actually see the consequences of uh, Maxine's... Who's, who's walking there? Yeah, the consequences of Maxine's time travel power. What the fuck? Ah, this is my run button. Principal Wells, oh, are you serious? I'm toast if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. What is he doing there now? Uh. And how should I? Blackwell almost lost another student. I wish Kate Marsh would just skip town. Now I have to deal with more pissed off entitled parents who want to blame me for their mistakes. Cheers. Yeah, well, it's the right attitude to just to uh, generalize things. Hmm. I guess. We just try to sneak by or what? <laughs> I don't see any other way. I have to... I'm now in sne sneak mode. That smart son of a bitch has me trapped. Hmm. 
Is there a way to go around here or not? Miss Caulfield, you have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. Plus, you're on suspension. Uh, I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I'm still tense after I thought Kate was going to jump today. I just needed some air and space to walk. No, no explanations. Seeing Kate come up on that roof, then seeing her come down with you. You saved her ass. <sighs> Maybe saved Blackwell. Now don't get cocky. Going back inside. You earned good dreams. Well, he's kind of drunk, huh? Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? Yeah. We're gonna meet Chloe. What? Um, how can I access the... Uh, what the fuck? How this works? <laughs> ah, here. What? We got two messages from mom? Again? Hello? Okay, this doesn't help much. What about mom? Um, don't be mad. Okay, what do we have here? Your principal sent me an email saying that he is concerned about your attitude and behavior. That you are not fitting in well and hiding in your dorm. I know it's hard to be away from home, even if you are grown up now. But you are here to change the world with your camera. Please call me soon to chat. We miss you, mommy. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Oh, that's what I got wrong? That I used too much uh, water? What the fuck? Max, please call us as soon as you can. We are proud of you for saving this poor girl and we want to hear your side about this Blackwell suspension. Call us soon. Now, this this uh, short message is about don't drown the water. I've read that um, this is from the episode 2 and they, there was some kind of bug maybe because they, they added this to the episode 2 with a fix. So people know that you can actually drown the plant. Sorry, Mom, I'll call you back in a few minutes. Don't be mad, I can't explain. Maxine, I'm so glad you were honest with me. I can always tell by your voice. We always believe in you. Remember, if you want to spend some time back home, the door is open and your bed is made. We love you. Thanks, Mom, I'm so lucky to have you as parents. Even though I'm suspended, I still have tons of homework. So I'll let you know later about the visit. Max Cho Cho. <coughs> okay. Not really something which are kind of helpful for me here. So, we just try to sneak by or what? Max, stop wandering outside and get back to your dorm. Now he's got me totally trapped. But there is something we can do. What I sh should do? Should I run here or what? Max! I told uh, you to get back to ah, your Ah, come on, it's okay. Hmm. Ah, this is kind of funny. Oh, I can run around. Can we just, just go here? Broken lamp. Maybe Samuel should fix that lamp. Uh huh. Yeah. Is there a way we could just go here? No. The Tabanka does look pretty scary at night. Please don't destroy me. Hold Alt T to rewind. Ah, this will help us. Why should this help us? Well, okay, let's let's go back then to the principal. Max, I told you to get back to your room. What?
He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. So I'm just uh, rewinding that he didn't saw me. What the fuck? <laughs> no. There's no way getting back. And I'm actually now pretty clueless. Let me just check. Here's another door. And it does, does shit. Yeah. Ah, there was another thing I was thinking about. Um, reading the diary of Maxine. Which I uh, try to uh, um, always do before I enter a new area. But now I, I'm just thinking because I don't know how, how many... Uh, if this is actually of interest, yeah, of total, give some uh, some insight in Maxine's thoughts and her inner feelings. But um, I thought uh, when I when I'm coming to the end of this episode, that I will just read the diary from start to finish of Chaos Terror. Maybe that's better. I'm not sure because it's 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 kind of it's kind of interesting in some. Um, points but I am actually stuck here what the fuck what should I do now okay I'll actually make a cut <laughs> just when I'm continuing what another message where the fuck are you girl uh, this doesn't help me either or I either what come on and smart Son of a bitch has me trapped! Oh man! The only thing I could actually think about was to, to somehow... ...break this uh, street lamp or so. But how? Okay... And now? Maybe this is just uh, the solution or what? Turning back time so many times? He's lucky nobody else saw him like that. Except me. Yeah, can we just move now? Oh my god. <laughs> the ninja strikes again. Okay. <laughs> and I was looking around for that street lamp. In front of the campus was the meeting point. Okay, so although I rewind the time, I got where the fuck are you girl message, yeah. Oh, this is actually so dark. Booyah! Whoa, oh, fuck off! Get Man! Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. Yeah, yeah. More like a scary punk asshole. Hey, Chloe, I didn't exactly have the greatest day trying to keep my friend from jumping off the roof. I don't think I need you to prank me tonight, okay? Sorry, but you absolutely balls to the walls did save your friend. Kate saved herself. I couldn't even use my power. My head felt like it was being crushed. And then I had no clue what to say to her on that roof. Don't be so modest, rock star. Kate is alive because of you. You obviously said the right thing. And your badass power is going to save us all. We just need to connect the plays. And find out who almost killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? Chaos theory? Didn't you say that it was all about chaos theory? I don't see any control over this chaos. Oh, right. Except for your ability to... Oh, yeah. Manipulate time and space? No biggie. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. I mean, I even got my own dumbass suspended. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? Clues about Kate, about Rachel? Right. For one thing, 
There's too much coincidence between the people around Kate and Rachel. Like Step Prick and Nathan Prescott? Not just them. Yep. I just want to beat the shit out of those particular bros. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Oh. Thank you, step prick. You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? You're suspended anyway, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. Insert groan here. Oh man, she got me with a fucking jump scare. That's one of the things. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Oh, hopefully the rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, really? Thank you, Victoria. I'm glad it had a relatively happy ending. I don't know what I would have done if Katie jumped. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did what? you? What? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know what's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? <laughs> I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors or something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Oh, Miss Victoria Chase. Are you fucking kidding me. She tried all she could. So stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil. Shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. And we are about uh, well, we have the keys. So we are not actually breaking in, are we? <laughs> oh, Chloe maybe. the Keymaster. Yeah. You know it. Ah, uh, this might be actually interesting now. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. But my powers didn't save Kate. Maybe I did on my own. Come on, one more door and our work here is done. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, there must be a point where I gotta end the video, but um, don't fear. I'm going to uh, play this through this episode in one one sitting, or how it's called, because uh, <laughs> and uh, so you can expect the next part and uh, just in, just shortly after this one. 
just have to make some breaks because some people they don't like uh, too long videos and I got some complaints about that okay ah anyway see you in the next part bye